Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Matt and in this video we're going to be looking at and comparing a selection of starter cymbal packs from four of the biggest and most well-known cymbal companies. When starting out on our drumming journeys we all dreamed of having a drum kit and when this became a reality we then looked at how we could improve that within a budget. But for some, this then spiralled out into a full-blown addiction of collecting, trying, buying, looking at online or in brochures, all of the latest equipment. Having a solid starting base is particularly crucial for aspiring drummers to enjoy their practice sessions. If it doesn't sound good, then they are less likely to want to play and spend time at the kit. For this video, we have a starter range packs from Zildjian, Meinl, Peisty and Sabian, all in the same sizes of 14 inch hats, 16 inch crash and a 20 inch ride. All packs are available in these configurations from your preferred drum shop. The packs we have here are Planet Z by Zildjian, Minor HCS, Peisty 101 and Sabian's SBR. Before we go any further, Let's take a listen before coming back with our thoughts. starting with the Planet Z set, which had a redesign and relaunch in 2020. They are made from a brass alloy and have a new hammering pattern and traditional finish. The whole range consists of hi-hats, crashes, ride and china, and thanks to the imposing Zildjian logo, they now feel like one of the family. The hats were the heaviest of the sets we had, which gave a dirty, sloshy, low-pitched tone. Due to their thickness, this did make them the slowest to react out of the whole selection. The ride had a particularly strong, solid bell. On the bow of the cymbal, 
we were presented with an underlying wash that when played loudly does take a little harnessing, but this also gives it great crashability. The 16 inch crash has a medium pitch and a fairly short sustain, which you have come to expect from brass alloy cymbals. Coming in at £179 and having quite a limited amount of options to expand as there are only five cymbals in the range, we feel that this particular set may appeal mainly to the players familiar with the Zildjian logo who want to buy into such an established brand. Moving on to the Minor HCS, and this range have been around for a while, but over the years Minor have tweaked and expanded the sounds available to now feature a staggering 26 cymbals. They are forged from Minor's MS63 brass alloy and the traditional finish on these cymbals helps to produce a warmer sound. The hats had a warm full tone and also had good stick definition, a very musical pair of hats when played open or closed. The ride was very reminiscent of a rock or metal ride with a clear ping, great stick definition and cutting bell. It was one of the more complex sounding cymbals when played on the bow with a strong yet musical wash that complemented the sound rather than overpowering it. The 16 inch crash produced a mid-range tone and quite a dry sustain. It opened up quickly and wasn't in any way harsh which is a bonus for a brass cymbal, especially considering its 16 inch diameter. Overall, the set was warm, balanced, harmonic, musical, and had good stick definition. The four cymbal pack comes with a recommended retail price of 205 pounds. Peisty's 101s have been around in some form for decades, round about 40 years. This current reincarnation offer a limited range of six cymbals and are again made from a brass alloy. All cymbals have a brilliant finish and are a medium heavy weight to make these the heaviest set we have here. The 14 inch hats were clean but dark with pronounced stick definition. To our ears they seemed a little muted compared to the others that we're featuring here. The ride was the lowest pitched with a dark full focus tone and very prominent bell. As we played, words that sprang to mind included musical, harmonic, powerful and durable, with a medium sustain and quick attack. The crash had the lowest pitch of all the crashes. It was dark with quick attack and medium sustain, which complemented the ride and hats perfectly. Price-wise, these come in at £198 for the pack. Finally, we have the SBR range from Sabian. Originally introduced to replace the Solar Beginner Symbol range, Sabian have rebranded and extended their SBR range to nine symbols to make a more professional looking set of symbols in keeping with their other ranges. These symbols are made of Sabian's brass alloy and each symbol goes through some of the same hammering and lathing processes as their more expensive symbols. The hats are a medium weight and offer a very clean, bright stick definition when closed and a loud cutting sound when open. The half sizzle is lacking a bit of body, as is the foot chick. Unlike the other hats here, there is no specific top or bottom hat as both symbols are the same weight and pitch, which might explain the slight lack of body, but does make the symbols react really quickly. Moving on to the ride and the dryness of the brass makes it easy to crash without it being too washy. The bell was perhaps a little lacking compared to others, but like the hats, we were presented with bright articulate stick definition on the bow with a lovely controlled tone. The 16 inch crash is thin, loud and punchy. It doesn't take a lot of effort to get it up to its maximum volume. It has a higher pitch and long sustain. This pack of Sabian SBR symbols have a recommended retail price of £208. Overall, we feel a good set of starter symbols is well worth the investment. With the starter packs available from £179, there is certainly more choice out there than a few decades ago. It will come down to personal choice, budget, and even if your favorite drummer uses a particular brand. We hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave us a comment. 
subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of future content. And we'll see you next time here at Drummer's Review.